Hey, welcome back everybody. Signing here again with episode 20 of my Sky Beast playthrough. Hi. I've got a wandering trader again. Uh, Time Worn Visage. Protection 5, Mending, Unbreaking 5, Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 3, and Rebounding 3. Not a bad helmet, really, but not what I really need. Just suddenly in my face there. So I'm actually, I made the uh, Shifting Star, which was pretty easy to do. And now we're making the Illumination Wand. And it does take a little bit to pull off, so. There we go. Now, yeah, see, I've been having mobs spawn over here. Oh, it makes little sounds even. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> All right. So that's one thing done that I wanted to get done. And another was... There it goes. All right, I'm like, all right, where'd the other one go? I want to make a uh, Gormorillus if I can. Should speed up my mana production a little bit. Need yellow and that's pink. Yellow and red. And then I need two of you. So it was what, one yellow? No, one red. So two yellow, one red, two gray, or light gray. Oh, I need a rune of summer still? Okay. The reason I thought that was just rune of water, but I need a rune of fire. And we need that red put away, I guess. Rune of summer is a melon slice, slime ball, and two sand. I think I can pull that. And slime ball. That's onto the runic altar here. So you, you, you. And summer was also earth and air. And it's over here, isn't it? And the cool thing is you get your runes back. All right, so rune of summer, and we can go like so. I just need a seed. You another legendary enderman? You're not. I had one earlier, I had like 140 hearts. And it's, I guess, theoretically raining right now. Which is why these guys are coming out to say hello. I think the other one might have lost to aggro on me already. Two intervals. All right. You? No, you're not the one that lost aggro on me the first time, though. The rebounding on the armor is uh, a bit much. So either he lost aggro or he got punched into the void. There we go. And let's go ahead and, I guess, put the light down here. You can see I've got a, a mystical magical bar of energy underneath my uh, my food and health there. And I did not grab the seed. Got distracted. All right, and in we go. Gormorillus. Should be linked up nicely, it is. And here, have a baked potato. Generates mana from food. And it really helps to, to alternate foods too, so. Oh, look at that. Dark over here and over here. I took my water wheels out because, well, 
think together they were only producing like 40-ish RF a tick. So, wasn't that great. All right, you good again? There you go. Go ahead and grab a couple coal blocks too. And apples are actually a pretty decent food, as long as something like Pam's doesn't tweak the food value. It doesn't make the little little sound anymore. That's a shame. It does on here, but not on the uh, not on the machines. Hmm. I guess you'd call them machines, right? I mean, Vitania is technically a tech mod, right? Um. You know, I don't know what I fed you last time, so you can have a hit A nut. There we go. So yeah, no, it definitely helps with the uh the mana production. But to make the illumination one, I actually had to move my uh my collector crystal over here and point it at the altar. Even in the middle of the night, I wasn't getting enough power, so. There you go. And you have to wait for the uh, the flower to digest before you can get more food. Well, digest and empty itself of mana first. So. If you don't, then it'll still eat the food, but it's just wasted. Now, I grabbed that charcoal because I wanted to go ahead and just do like that. There you go. Just loading up on dielectric paste for right now as well. And like so. Now, I've got all my runes together. I want to make a uh, agglomeration plate. All right, so I need a block of mana steel and three lapis blocks. Yeah, all the runes are pretty easy to make. It's... I mean, like, Runer Earth, you get two for a block of coal, limestone, mana steel, mana powder, and a mushroom of some flavor. And they're all pretty much just as easy. This one we've made before. Fire required another wart, another brick. I mean, it's just a bunch of really easy things that really is not a huge deal to pull off. And that way. Let's see. Uh, the potatoes I was going to cook up over there. Need block of you and three blocks of you. I never did get my lapis piece up and going, did I? Hmm. Oh well. So come over here, drop that in there. Awesome. Here, like so. There's our agglomeration plate, which is a quest as well. Uh, let's go ahead and put my extra runes away here. And we well, don't need the wand for now either. I am going to need some more uh, living rock, though. I added a lot of popping when those guys come out. Mm, I could refill that end cake, too, I think. Not a huge deal right now, so I'm not going to worry about it too terribly much. Alright, come on. Hurry up. I think the focus of today's episode is going to be getting at least a refined storage controller. Shouldn't be hard. I do need the tier 2 table, though. The uh, yeah, tier 2 advanced crafting table. It's kind of cool how they actually added auto crafting tables in now. And I need, I have a I don't. I need either four or five blocks of lapis and then living rock. I think it's four blocks of, I have no idea. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's one of those things I've always had problems remembering. Thank you. So let's go get our Lexica here. Wherever I left that at. Hmm. 
Well, that's not great. There it is. You know, the book is nice and all, but I really do miss the... So it would be Living Rock in the middle then. The old Lexica. I did like that. One of the things I loved was the type to search bar. Four. Of course, every time I see this, I think of Purina dog food too. Oh, no. Wrong one. That. There's our agglomeration plate. And now I need sparks to get mana from here to here. Hmm, sparks are pretty cheap though. So. These mana sparks are. So I need two blaze powder, a gold nugget, and two petals each. So let's just go ahead, I guess, grab some black since I got a few of those. And two, and... I got blaze powder laying around somewhere, but... Didn't feel like digging it up right now. So sparks, done. Quest and advancement, awesome. Mana pool gets one, and then the agglomeration plate gets one. And that'll transfer mana from here to there. Oh, I fed a baked potato last time. But it ate slower like that because the flower's like, nah, I don't like this. It likes to have a varied diet, I think, is the explanation behind it. So. It does make it a bit more fun to automate, though. I grabbed a coal while I was over here. Because you have to alternate giving it uh, alternate foods. There we go. You can have that. A little extra mana going in there. And the way I'm actually keeping up on that, I really should automate that somehow. <laughs> I always forget that I need mana, and it's going to really bite me in the butt here soon. So, Astral, we need Tunement. Starlight Infuser and Iridescent Altar still. Mm -hmm. We're almost there on Astral. But let's see, I need to make a bunch of components here. I got some Black Iron Slates going. Uh, just go ahead and give me like a stack U. A stack, thank you. And stack U. Because well, I'm going to need three of you separate. And right, and I think it was two and one. Yeah, there's that. Now I'll grab the gold. Do like so. And then black iron. There we go. So I knew I took it around here somewhere. Get a couple of basic catalysts, and then we're going to get a, like an advanced catalyst. Yeah. All right. Now here comes the fun part, right? So I need one of these. So it's going to be a block of gold. I need two of these. So I need four crafting tables, two blocks of iron, and a block of gold. And we'll just do like, just like so. Two of you. And then I have to move over to this table to make basic auto crafting table requires redstone components, huh? Redstone ingot. Okay, that's not bad. I can't do that over here, really? That's strange. There we go, and there's our tier two advanced crafting table. Now five by five crafting. So look at this. 
I need 12 sky stone, four pure fluix crystals, okay. Well, my pure fluix is over here. What is that again? City marble, okay. And I've got 12 sky stone lurking around here somewhere, don't I? I like tucked it away into a box so I wouldn't accidentally sip it. Ah, uh, yeah, right here. All right, cool. So that is here on the corner or on the sides, and then sky stone in the corners. Long table. Yep. Three and four. And then what's next? I need four steel plates. And I'm going to need machine casing. Okay. So I've got the steel plates made up already. I'm going to grab all of them, actually. I'm also going to need those, though, to make the machine casing. So stone, steel plate, quartz enriched iron. How much quartz enriched do I have? A decent amount. Go ahead and make like four of these casings here. I'm going to need them, so might as well. Oh, and that's in a basic crafting table, too. Oh, that's fun. So the auto crafting tables will be a kind of nice thing to have, I'm guessing. All right, and then that guy can go dead center here. Now I'm going to need some processor binding. And slime ball. I'm gonna need four diamonds. So slime ball, two string, processor binding. I'm gonna make four of these raw advanced processors now. And then we're gonna come over here to our wonderful inscriber. You go there, there, well, there. I'm gonna scroll wheel in and it didn't wanna work. And then I think it's just redstone in the middle, correct? And then there. Yep. And if you shift click, everything goes to the correct spot, which is awesome. So I'm going to need like four of these. Now, when it comes to automating this with pipes, Ron Advanced has to get piped in the top, silicon has to come in the bottom of the machine, and then redstone can come in through the side. So shift clicking is smart, piping in. Not so much. I made extra blaze powder. Oops. Yeah, let's just put that in here, I guess, for now. And then put that here. One, two, three, and four. Got ourselves a refined storage controller. Now here's a fun thing. And can check mark quests. Okay, so I need the charger and then the inscriber picked up now. Advanced processor and then <clears throat> is that advanced, improved, and basic? All right, so I need improves to make grids. Okay. I need basics to make grids too. So I'm going to need like a bunch more processor binding, honestly. ADU, let's say four, uh, eight of you. And I'm just going to get another recipes of this worth here. And then they four more iron, four diamonds. All right, yep, this is a uh, start of every refined storage system ever. It's kind of like this. So diamonds, done, iron, gold. Let's get four more iron. I'm going to need a few of these. So. And normally at this point, I would just run all this through a furnace. However, with this mod pack, not Quite as uh, simple as that. So, 
over here to my pipes. Uh, let's see. Universal cable, yes. Mechanical, I don't worry about. Uh, we do have some logistical transporters. Probably should make some more. I got, making sure I got circuits here. And... It's going to be kind of ugly, but I think I can at least get some automation taken care of for these. So, you give me that. You come here. Not have room to pick that up, huh? Dang. Uh, there's just so many items. Oh, I'm trying to get into refined storage. This will really, really help matters a bit. There we go. There's some of that stuff I don't need right now. And I'm going to pick up the charger because it's kind of in the way now. All right. Box can go there. Transporter. Actually, the box is going to have to go there. So. All right. Scriber can go here. I get my box back now. Box will go here. Transporter, box, transporter, and a box. Now, configurator, like that. You're going to be extract mode. So are you, and so are you. Actually, you're one block too close now. So we're going to do that there. And I might as well just slap this down. Say there. Now I just have to uh, disconnect that. Direct mode. Universal cable, like so. Those got power now. This stuff all goes in the top. The raw processors. Silicon will go in the bottom. And then we'll just grab like a stack of redstone and put it in the one. Very thinky mod. I love how there's different quotes in the back of the book on the, uh, the Lexica Batania. It's little things like that that set it apart. So thank you, Basky. Uh, let's see. Yep. And you are currently making processors. Hey, look at that. Awesome. Probably the next thing I need to make is a grid. So I can also grab those. Hey, look, quest complete. At least a few of them. Let's go ahead and put our steel plates back in here now. Let me get the charger down. Put you here, right? And... Now, if I give you... I don't know if I have any regular service left. I think I turned it all into pure. Uh, dude, we got a bunch of silicon here. Which I'm going to process up, I guess, after my uh, everything else is done. My processors are run through the system. I've just got such a mishmash of random items right now, too. That's why I want to get into refined storage. At least to store all this stuff. But having random boxes everywhere. Um, you need acacia wood. There we go. I figure next episode, which now I'm going to have refined storage set up and running. Uh, how about a cables to make? And refine. This thing. Right. Of basic recipe. Okay. I can live with that. Quartz rich iron isn't, you know, the standard recipe, but I mean, close enough, right? Cable, and then we can get importers, exporters, and external storages. Those I can get to an interface, I guess. Disk drive is too advanced. Machine casing, two cable. Okay. That is definitely not a standard recipe, but all right, fine. Uh, grid, are you a standard recipe? Oh, you really, really do that? So I need a construction, destruction core. I need an improved processor. 
machine casing and an illuminated panel from AE2, which requires quartz glass. All right. So crushing factory, go there. Getting our processors made up wonderfully here. Drop that stuff in there. And then I'm also gonna put that in there just to get it out of my inventory for now. I've got 11 processors left to do here. I've got actually a decent amount of silicon, so. Okay, you're done. I need four glass, please. Uh, grid, right, is what I was working on. Uh, grid. And they're different colors because you can actually, like, just dye them, which is kind of cool. There we go. Eliminated panel. So quartz glass is like so. And then what did I need for the rest of it? Two glowstone, redstone, and iron. Okay. Not bad. And an iron. Get three of those per, so. Cool, and I just need construction core destruction, which is, oh, really? Make them custom. Usually it's a refined, like an iron processor plus a glowstone or iron processor plus no, nether quartz. I don't know what I got for. I need two. So give me four glowstone and four nether quartz. And I'm going to need eight iron while I'm over here. Be U plus U equals that. How did you grab silicon? That is kind of sort of hardly ideal here. Don't do that. They're round robining on the way out, it looks like. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and add that to our wish list. How about our acceleration cards to make? Advanced card plus Fluix. Just need calculation processors. Okay, I haven't gotten into this stuff yet. So the calculation press is four charge service, service quartz dust and steel. Um. I mean, we are getting, you know, let's put the silicon over here. That way it doesn't get sucked into the system. Oh, we are making progress here. We're getting a little bit of processors anyway. Here, you can have that too. The machine is slow, but the pipes aren't exactly all that fast either. But they're just basic tier transporters. So really, what all do you expect out of it? Two and two. Okay, cool. And yeah, figured I didn't have the quest for that yet. Then I need to do the construction and destruction core quest, which is what we're kind of sort of working on right now. All right, last one. Okay, you go there. You and you go there. And that should automate our construction and construction cores. One, two, there it goes. Okay. All right. All the fun times, right? Now, did any of you get jammed? No. And I removed the RGBs, so I should be able to uh, not have to worry so much about sorting the combs as they come in. I removed the, uh, the vile bees of disappointment. Okay. Construction core. Awesome. Let's get this thing uh, started to get set up here. All right, so it was one of those guys. It was a construction core. I need an improved processor. So a gold one. And then 
then for the grid, I also needed a, a destruction. Oh, and this is not shapeless either. All right, so how are we looking at this now? Destruction and improved. Bump, bump, destruction goes here. Illuminated panel will go there. I'm just waiting on the red core. There we go. Here, you can have that back now. And yeah. And then you can go there. And there is our grid. All right. So, where am I going to start putting this stuff at? I guess I could actually just literally start like right here, right? We can go here. Oh, yay, look. Kind of useless, right? Got no storage attached to the system. Go ahead and get power hooked up to it, though, and pick this back up. Because I want to upgrade this if I can. Into, if possible, a crafting grid. Portable grid, pattern, fluid, crafting. Oh, that one didn't get messed with. Cool. Crafting table, advanced processor. Easy enough. You, you, and you. Crafting grid. Plop that down. And hey, I've got a crafting table over here now. Okay. Look at the drive now. Um, this drive. This drive. So two advanced, two cable, four steel plates. I put all my steel plates back in the box, didn't I? I did. Oh, well. Easy fix, right? That's over here. Okay, disk drive. I just need some disks in here, right? So, I'm bad or four case to make. That's usually the ones I start off with. Ah, in here. Okay, so I need a bucket and a half of honey from resourceful bees in the dissolution chamber, which is this guy right here. Hmm. I've got 14 right here, so... Three... Four... Five... And... Six. Right, six buckets of honey in there. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, that was 64k fluid storage part. Oh, whoops. 4k storage is just a bunch of this, which still needs honey. Okay, so I need. I put enough honey in for four recipes, so I need four improved processors. I don't believe you're shaped. If I remember correctly. Oh, and that's right. You can only do one at a time still. All right, and my quartz enriched iron. Where did I end up leaving that? I think it's in the box over here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So the 4K storage part has 1Ks. So that's four quartz. I scroll wheel one in, and then from redstone. Oh, this is going to take a little bit, isn't it? This is not necessarily a faster machine at this stage of the game. There are speed upgrades you can get, though. But we got the controller done for refined storage. And then that, yeah, no, see, it just shift clicked all those in. Four, redstone, done. And let's see. There's the crafters, network. All right, that's all fun in the games. Ah, uh, here's our 1K. It wants me to make a 1K storage disk. I guess I can. Oh, storage housings are made in the dissolution chamber too. Oh, wonderful. All right, well, get some stuff started here. Let's go ahead and... A bunch of quartz, a bunch of quartz enriched iron cooked up here. So you and you can get started. There's two of those, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and 
do one more like so. Because I want to make a 4K, which is just like this. I need four, four basics, yeah. I'm going to need a housing as well. A vibrant quartz class. Okay, so I have to make more of this. Let's close stone now. So it's, thank God I already have the pigman bees. And I needed probably... So, pressure, I have that. Now, there's no storage hooked up the system, but you can still craft in the system, so. Which can be useful at times, like, well, right now. All right, so the storage housing, and the three redstone, three quartz merged glass, or, or quartz merged iron. And there we are. All right, cool. How's this going over here? Go ahead and do that. Now, can I hop into I don't think I can. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure which is the actual controller block, which is the problem, though. Uh, immersive engineering, kind of a... Uh, there's one block out of these eight that controls the entire multi-block. And how it is for all immersive... Oh, well, that's how it is for all multi-blocks. That's why everything's got like a, a, a quote controller and whatnot. And... It's also how come if you click one block in a multi-block, you can actually like take accelerate the whole thing and whatnot. I don't know which block Blue decided was the controller. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, and I'll just break everything. A uh, hammer should be in here. Yeah, let's try that. Of course, blue might have just made it so you just can't hop her in and out of this thing too, so. Not you. You. That. Cool. So now just for questing purposes, 1k. If right click, splits that out from here. And then I just needed one redstone, one quartz enriched iron. To upgrade this to a 4K. Now, 4K literally stands for 4,000, as in it'll hold 4,000 items on this, on this disc. Now, is there like a reward for getting all the way up to infinite? No. Okay. Might be something I do later, but honestly, not that enthused about it. All right, so I'm going to start putting stuff that doesn't have a drawer in here for now. Because off camera, I am going to work towards an external storage. I'm feeling it's not going to be all that hard to do. Uh, let's see, you know, boxes, destruction, destruction. Yeah, actually, I can make one right now. Need a couple chests. Really? God, we don't have that mod in this pack. Let's pull all the items out at once, and it's like, hmm, no. So external storage, done. Okay, I can get rid of that. Here's a wonderful drawer controller slave. It acts as a drawer controller but only for inputting and exporting items. Right now, 
Abel. And now I can see everything that's in a drawer. Awesome. So I'm going to bump your priority up to something absurd. Just to make sure. Also, it says it has a storage of 2 billion items. All right, cool. But now I can just put all sorts of stuff in here. If it's got a home in the drawers, it'll end up in a storage drawer. If it doesn't have a home in the drawers, it'll go on the disk, which we've got 363 items on so far. So, And I'm going to leave my bees here for now, I think, but I'm going to grab everything else out of here. But I'm going to work on more storage dis disks off camera. Uh, get some resources together or whatnot. And uh, I get everything kind of cleaned up a bit. I can at least get the random boxes put away now. And then I got to figure out some sort of storage system here. Oh, I finally got the living wood task done. <laughs> That's hilarious. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, I'm signing out. Have fun.